Hello everyone, it is Lil Hill, and today we are going to go through the last little bit of new Pokemon from Generation 9. Going through the new Legendaries and the Paradox Forms, which are basically Legendaries at this point. Also, I do apologize for the first two episodes. Um, the music is really loud of them, and it's kind of hard to like listen to me over the music. Um, it's because I've been changing the settings like between like whenever I do like switch recording and other stuff and blah blah blah. I'm trying to get it all squared away, but hopefully it shouldn't be too loud now and it should just be kind of quiet in the background. Um, but yeah, going forward, um, I'll try to be better about making sure that music is not too loud, at least in terms of like doing showdown videos. So, okay. Um, going over Gen 9 stuff, obviously we're kind of hopping into uber tiers with cried and Marida, and then there are a couple of these will be uber tier and i'll try to talk about them when i can so first off we have coridon which is obviously scarlet um legendary fighting dragon pretty good typing uh como's typing i think that's the only one so far um it's new ability aricalic arichic don't even try me with this one on switch in brings out sunny day and attack is boosted by 30% in sunny day so um this ability works well also with a lot of the new paradox forms um i'll go over that shortly but sunny day is also just good for like generally other fire types also if you have grass types of chlorophyll like this pokemon could definitely be um really good especially paired up with um other paradox forms which i'll talk about in a second then we have collision course signature move which is 100 base power fighting move and it deals 1.3 times damage if the move is super effective. Pretty good. Um, so let's think. Close combat. It's a little bit less than close combat, but doesn't have the downside of dropping your defenses. And also, I guess if it's super effective, it's not a bad move at all. Uh, definitely a good move for sure. Um, then looking at stats, 100 HP, 100 uh, attack, um, 115 defenses. Obviously an Uber Pokemon, so it's going to have a lot of good stats. And 135 speed is very good. Um, then hopping over to Maridon, which has the Hydron Engine uh, signature ability. On switch in, it summons Electric Terrain, and then special attack is boosted by 30% in Electric Terrain. Um, so same thing as Coridon, but except Electric Terrain instead of Sunny Day. Then signature move, same thing as Coridon, but it's a, except it's an Electric Special move that does 100 damage, deals 1.3 times damage if the move is super effective. So pretty good move also. And then the stats for this one, the attack and defense are swapped with the special attack and special defense of like what Karina would be so you can see that they're just flipped and overall these sets are really good and I think that these Pokemon will honestly like essentially run the format especially for VGC because this summons up Sunny Day and this summons up Electric Terrain and the only other two Pokemon currently um, in Scarlet and Violet that can summon Sunny Day is Torkoal with Drought and the only one that can summon Electric Terrain is Pinkurgeon. So these probably will definitely, once they get into VGC, will be very good. But um, we'll talk about this again when we get to the Paradox Pokemon. Now, the new four uh, legendary, I think they're called like the Ruin Pokemon. Um, this is Chan, Chan Pao, which is Dark Ice typing, same as Weavile, and has a really cool ability, Sword of Ruin. The defense stat of all other active Pokemon is reduced by 25%. Um, so this is getting like a free what 1.25 boost on all your moves and then uh, it has its signature move all four of them get it It's called runation 90% uh, accurate dark move does uh, Half the targets current HP so like a super fang also like the tapu finnies uh, or not tapu finnies the tapus all got this kind of move um, with uh, what was it nature's madness So it's a pretty good move especially if you're dealing with something that can wall you off Looking at the stats, obviously with his ability lowering defense, this thing has pretty uh, pretty good attack, and also this is in the OU tier, so you can still use an OU, and then it has really high speed of 135, which seems to be like what everything is hitting. Like I think the max base stat for this um, generation is like 135 in terms of like what Pokemon are viable, so definitely a very good Pokemon. Then we have Chiyu. I'm also going to butcher all these names, so don't blame me. Has a Beads of Ruin, the special defense stat of all other Pokemon is reduced by 25%. This is also be really useful in VGC. Um, most people have been pairing this with like Fluttermane to do like crazy amounts of damage. 
and also uh, gets the same uh, new move, Runation. But obviously, because it has this reducing special defense, it has really high special attack, really good uh, special defense, and also good speed. Low HP, uh, decent attack and defense. You won't really be using those that much, but overall, this is a monster in terms of um, hitting things specially. Um, also has like a lot of good coverage, also getting psychic type moves, nasty plot. This Pokemon is definitely a beast for sure. Then out of the other two um, four legendaries, this I believe is, oh, it's still OU, okay. The last one I think is, yeah. Um, but obviously they're still making the meta for the other tiers right now. So for the Vessel of Ruin, these two are gonna be like more defensive. So the special attack of all other Pokemon is reduced by 25%. Still has the same signature move, Dark Ground Typing. Uh, if you didn't realize, Dark Fire was the previous one. Um, dark Ground Typing, really high base HP, really good attack, uh, also really high defense. And obviously when you're getting reducing everyone's special attack, you're gonna be um, a little bit weaker on the special defense side, but it really shouldn't matter because you do have this ability active. So I wonder if this also gets body press. It does get body press and that is a massive defense set. So yeah, this thing will definitely be good um, in terms of singles or doubles, I think it could be good. And Dark Ground's pretty good typing, same as Crocodile. Um, and I believe that's it, but yeah, very good typing. Then we have Wo Chin, which is the weirdest looking one, which is Dark Grass and has Tablets of Ruin, reduces the attack stat of all their Pokemon by 25%. Um, Dark Grass is not a good defensive typing, honestly, because you're weak. Like Dark Grass do not pair well together in terms of like getting rid of uh, their defensive uh, weaknesses. So it's supposed to be like more offensive, but this thing is like super slow, has the same signature move. 85 base HP is okay, attack is okay, defense is um, good. Special attack, okay, high, very high special defense, but then like bad speed. It's just confusing of like looking at this compared to this, like just because it has like decent defenses, um, like I mean, it's still very wally, but like this one's still just way, way better than this one. Like they at least made this one super slow, so they gave it HP. This one's like still like sub 100, but also has like speed invested into it where it's like, It'll outspeed some stuff. It's just kind of a waste of a speed tier, but that's obviously why this one's in UU. And then going on to the Paradox Pokemon, the first one we have for Scarlet is Great Tusk, which is ground fighting and has this new hidden ability, or not hidden ability, all signature abilities. All of the Paradox Pokemon for Scarlet have Photosynthesis, which is when, while Sunny Day or Booster Energy is active, the highest stat is 1.3 times or 1.5 if it's uh, for speed. So booster energy is an item that essentially activates your ability. Um, and yeah, this is essentially why all these Paradox Pokemon go well with um, Coridon is because he sets up the sunny day and then these Pokemon get a boost from it. Uh, specifically why Great Tusk um, is actually better than Iron Treads, which is the Violet exclusive, is because they decided to give this one um, Headlong Rush, which is actually the uh, signature move, I believe, of Ursa Luna in Legends Arceus. Now it's in um, Scarlet and Violet, but it's basically a higher um, higher base power Earthquake, uh, but you also drop your defense by one, so it's like a close combat, but it's actually just ground type move. Um, and yeah, this is super strong because it's gonna be stab and most of the time like once you get rid of someone's like ground resistance slash ground immunity You can just spam earthquake because this thing has very high HP very high attack and very high defense and decent speed um, Just because the special defense is bad does not mean that this thing is bad uh, by a long shot and also uh, Ground fighting is not a bad not a bad combination. Also look at all the coverage you're getting from just being like a Dawn fan form. You get Ice Shard, Ice Moves, Iron Head still, Knock Off, Mega, Mega Horn, Play Rough, like Stealth Rocks and Rapid Spin. This thing has like so much utility. So that's why this thing is obviously an OU. Then we have Iron Hands um, with a signature ability. This is the same signature ability throughout for all the Violet um, Paradox forms. Uh, quark Drive when Electric Terrain or Booster Energy are active. 
the highest stat is 1.3 times or 1.5 times if it's speed so obviously as I said previously Maridon will be pairing up with all these Pokemon to give them a boost and obviously you can use booster energy as well um, this guy gets no signature moves um, but it is just very good finding electric is very good typing um, especially offensively if you think of like well zero or was good because he was fast but most of the time like electric fighting if you can cover the steel resistance um of like electric then fighting does i think steel resists electric i believe but um yeah this pokemon is not bad very high hp also gets belly drum i think you get belly drum and drain punch right um and then obviously you're getting electric type moves to hit flying types um very high attack stat very good defense stat everything else is kind of bad but I mean this this very high HP stat will make you live um, most moves that you're not getting one shot at even with this low special defense so very good Pokemon then we have iron moth which I believe is also OU fire poison cool typing um, Salazzle has this typing and it still gets this this version um, gets fiery dance which I think is better than the other one but because um, the other one's bug fighting but anyway this one is obviously a special attacker, has the quark drive, so it will operate well. And the electric terrain, which kind of sucks, because if this one was for the sun, it would be so much better, because then you also get like a boost from it being sun, and you already have a boost for it boosting your fire type moves, but it's whatever. Uh, very high special attack, um, really good special defense and speed. Uh, defense is low, that's totally fine, HP is okay. Um, but yeah, this thing is a monster. I'm wondering it, it might be the other one that gets quiver dance But it's supposed to be a physical type. So I wonder if the other one gets quiver dance I'll check it out later, but this Pokemon is definitely going to be good um, I mean look at the coverage on this thing energy ball discharge dazzling gleam air slash um, still getting bug buzz from being a um, previously bug morning Sun um, sludge wave now u-turn toxic spikes like very good utility besides offensively then we have iron treads um so violet uh exclusive ground steel um this one's obviously not as good as the other one because it doesn't get um headlong rush and at least it gets still it still gets stealth rock it still gets rapid spin <clears throat> it actually gets bolt switch that's really bizarre um but not bad uh, still has decent coverage, but just a little bit worse because it doesn't get that signature um, Headlong rush move uh, although it's for Ursuluna not like necessarily for the paradox Pokemon, but Ground steel is pretty good typing. The only problem is that you're still weak to ground So I mean they kind of work well together. You get rid of your ice weakness and your grass weakness um, So pretty good defensively looking at stats It has like a little bit more mixed stats than the other one so good HP, good attack, good defense. Um, overall, these stats are just good and not like anything crazy. So it looks like it could be like definitely a defensive kind of like balance mon that can do damage, but also take hits at the same time. Also being over hundred um, base speed is also very good. Then we have Iron Valiant, which is fairy fighting, very cool typing, um, very high uh, base attack, very high special attack and really good speed. Uh, obviously in this, Thing is going to be very offensive it has swords dance let's get nasty plot um does get calm mind though agility lots of coverage looks like it mostly wants to be physical but also you can easily switch it up because it gets a lot of special moves as well um cork drive so it'll operate well in electric terrain in terms of ou i don't know if you'd ever want to bring pink virgin and ou but who knows that could definitely happen this Pokemon looks cool and has so much coverage, which is really cool. So, going into Roaring Moon, the Dragon Dark New Hydreigon, basically like a new Hydreigon. Um, looking at stats, because we're going to jump away from the ability, there's no new moves for any of them. Um, and the abilities are either Protosynthesis or Fork Drive. Looking at this thing's stats, uh, good HP, high attack, um, decent special defense okay defense and very high speed um this thing is probably just going to be a monster because dragon dark just is very good offensively most things cannot take dark type hits so it looks like it, it's definitely going to be physical so you're probably dropping crunches while doing dragon dance dragon claw earthquake flamethrower whoo 
Look at this coverage. This thing is disgusting. And it gets U-turn. Damn. Yeah, this thing is nice. All right, moving on. We got the Ubers, the people that have already been banned. Fluttermane is Ghost Fairy. Uh, Protosynthesis activated while in the sun. Um, looking at uh, stats, you can see why it literally is banned. Ghost Fairy is such good offensive typing. Like most things that want to resist ghost is dark and fairy obviously just completely destroys that. And this thing is like so fast, probably outspeeds like everything in its tier except for other base 135s. Um, yeah, if you just run Moonblast Shadow Ball, like maybe this even gets like nasty plot. Is it not? Calm mine is still very good. I mean, you're so fast that like once you set up one calm mine, you're doing tons of damage. Um, but yeah, Shadow Ball and Moonblast is literally all, all you need on this thing because the stats are incredibly high. And like if you're calm mining against like a special attacker, you're taking no damage. So very, very strong Pokemon. Then we have the Iron Bundle, which is Ice Water, which is Lapras's typing. Um, very good stats. I mean, low HP, uh, really high defense and low special defense, but it's still extremely fast and actually is hitting 136, which is faster than everything else um, by at least one point. And I think as long as you're throwing like Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, Scald, I don't know, does this thing get Scald? Uh, so it has to run Hydro Pump, but like still this thing is just, looks like a B still, and it has U-Turn, and I bet you it gets Freeze Dry, right? Yeah. And Flip Turn, Flip Turn is way better than U-Turn. Um, so yeah, the, I can see why this thing's broken, especially heading this speed tier, like you're outspeeding everything, and this is a very high special attack stat as well, so very very good pokemon then we have brute bonnet which actually i was the most hyped to see grass dark um not good defensively but good offensively so you can see that he has very high hp very high attack okay defenses and low speed so uh maybe under trick room this thing could work but yeah just i was interested so it gets seed bomb sucker punch is it not oh it gets crunch as well close combat Ooh, that looks cool yeah, this thing looks a lot of fun. Don't know how good it is, but um, does it get Spore? Oh my gosh, it gets Spore too. Imagine it got Spore in like Swords Dance. Does it get Swords Dance? Ah, uh, it doesn't. I wonder if it has any setup moves. Sub, Stun Spore, no it doesn't. But it, I mean, just putting Spore on such a monstrous attack set is very, very good. So that is Brute Bonnet. Then we have Iron Jugulus, which is Dark Flying. No signature moves, obviously running with the cork drive which is electric terrain which doesn't make sense because i guess as long as it's active because this thing isn't touching the ground for the electric terrain to work on it but anyway looking at stats uh decent speed uh high special attack and okay everything else this one's honestly the most sad out of most of them just because it doesn't have like anything great about it i don't know if dark flying is very good offensively it's just like haunch Crow's typing um, which was good, but I think it was because Haunch Crow had access to Brave Bird, and I don't think this one gets Brave Bird. Uh, plus, it's going to be more of a special attacker than uh, anything else, so you're probably rocking Dark Pulse, and does this thing even get Hurricane? Ooh, it does get Hurricane, which is cool. Um, but yeah, it looks this one looks a little bit sad compared to the other ones, but still probably not bad. I mean, Earth Power, Flamethrower... It just kind of does the same thing that a, like normal Hydreigon does, except Hydreigon can be mixed, so it's like, why would you run this one over Hydreigon? Um, but yeah, this the, he's still cool. I may remember seeing this in game. This thing looks so sick. Then we have Iron Thorns, which is uh, Rock Electric. Really weird typing and bad because Earth is so ground is such a common typing, and like not being able to switch in on ground type moves is bad. Obviously gets all of the insane coverage that uh, normal T-Tard gets. Actually has Volt Switch now, which is pretty good. Um, same stats as T-Tar, I believe. Uh, but not bad stats, especially I think it still gets Dragon Dance. Um, Stealth Rock, still probably good. Wow, it has Spikes now, which is good. Uh, Swords Dance, Taunt. I mean, it still has a lot of usage. I'm surprised it's in UU. Is this also UU? Yeah, so we dropped in UU, Iron Jugulus, but... That is Iron Thorns, the Rock Electric Tyranitar. Then we have uh, Sandy Shocks, the Electric Ground type. I love this typing, honestly. Um, I think it's I think it works really well offensively. Um, Protosynthesis does well in the sun. Um, Earthquake, Earth, it's definitely a special attacker based off this. 
Uh, decent speed. It's not terrible, but not like great either. Uh, defense is okay and HP is okay. But obviously you're going to be running like Earth Power, Thunderbolt. It does get Stealth Rock and Sub. Even Spikes is really good and Volt Switch. Yeah, just having something that can like threaten while also switching out. And if something wants to switch in, setting up Spikes or Stealth Rock, this Pokemon is definitely uh, not bad. Surprises in the UU tier is probably just because it's so slow to compare to everything in the OU tier. So Then we have Screamtail, the Fairy Psychic Pokemon, Protosynthesis. Looking at stats, very defensive. Um... 115 HP, good defense, good special defense, and not bad speed either. But the thing is, like, the attack and special attack are so bad that it's like you can't really compete. Like, you're you're definitely acting as a wall, right? So maybe you're setting up screens. Uh, it obviously gets light screen, reflect. It does get stealth rock. Maybe you could do like some. Oh, you could even wish with it. So it is it is definitely bulky. Um, this thing will probably be annoying to deal with in lower tiers, but. Also has good coverage, but yeah, the special attack, this is terrible special attack. Maybe if you're like calm minding, you can like maybe win, but yeah, this is just like a wall that can't really do anything else. So then finally we have Slitherwing, the bug fighting Volcarona for um, Scarlet. Wonder is, does this one get a quiver dance? Uh, it doesn't, so they both lost it. Okay, uh, bug fighting is not a great typing, um, but obviously close combat. Doing B. Ooh, now has first impression. And it, was it always 90 base power? I felt like this was 80. This must have been bumped. Um, still has good coverage though. Morning Sun, U turn, Wild Charge, Will O Wiss. Looking at stats, very high. Uh, attack stat, obviously. Not great speed and decent special defense. Obviously, why it is in UU. So, yeah, that's pretty much um, all the legendaries slash paradox forms. Um, definitely design wise all these things look cool a lot of them seem very strong and uh, honestly most of them act as legendaries all the paradox forms just act like legendaries so i um, very excited to see how the meta will turn out and yeah i think that's it thanks everyone for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace